Hey YouTube, it's Robert Hall and in today's video we're gonna talk about the Godox V350. Last summer I reviewed the Godox TT350 which was a perfectly sized flash for smaller mirrorless cameras but it had some weaknesses in peak power and a slow recycle time. Well, this has changed a bit with Godox's release of the new V350, which will be called the Flashpoint Zoom R2 Lithium Ion Mini from Adorama. Now, in this video, I'm just gonna talk about my thoughts on the unit. However, if you're looking for a how-to video, a guide step-by-step -step on using the flash, you can find that for the Sony or Fuji version right up here. And the V350 is also available for Olympus Panasonic, and they have a Nikon and Canon version as well. So inside the case, you're gonna find the flash, a case for the flash, the battery charger, battery, and the diffusion cap. So the form factor is unchanged from the original TT350. It's still five and a half by two and a half inches, and it has a tilt and swivel head. It weighs only 10 ounces, including the battery, which makes it about one third the weight of a full size speed light. The V350 has manual TTL, high speed sync, and stroboscopic modes. It still has the built-in radio equipment so that it is compatible with all of the Godox X series, and that'll work perfectly with all the Flashpoint R2 series as well. So the power of this flash has not changed. It still has the same peak power, and it's gonna take roughly three of these to equal the power that you would get from a single V860 version two, or pretty much any other full-size speed light. However, by changing to the lithium ion battery, the flash now recycles that full power in 1.7 seconds. It's capable of up to 500 full power flashes as well, so you can definitely now use this to shoot all day. So you can use this with cameras that are both APS-C or full frame, or in the case of the Olympus Panasonic micro four thirds, there is a setting inside the custom functions where you can change the zoom head to match up with the correct millimeters of the specific sensor size. So with that lithium ion battery does come the counter heat protection mode that you would find on the V860 version two. So in standard sync, at full power, the heat protection is gonna kick in at 30 flashes and in high speed sync at full power, it's gonna kick in at 15 flashes. So clearly this flash still isn't quite a workhorse for anyone that is demanding a lot of output. Those people should still look at a Godox 8200 or a Godox 8600, 600 Pro. Those would be much more suitable for anyone looking for high output. But that 1.7 recycle time and increased capacity makes it far more usable for professional photographers. Now, if you're deciding between the V350 and the V860 version two, there's one primary difference other than the power. And that is when you're using the V350 as as a master, you do not see the power outputs of all your off-camera groups all on one screen. Instead, you see one group at a time and you have to navigate between the groups to see the powers. Now, visibility is the only thing that's really different because actually navigating between the groups takes roughly the same amount of clicks. Actually, it takes a little bit less because you don't have to hit a button to even adjust the power once you're on that group. Overall, if you find yourself regularly using a full-size speed light over 1 8 power, I think that it's best that you stick with a full-size speed light. Because if you're usually shooting above that power setting, then chances are by switching to the V350, you're gonna feel a little limited by both the peak output as well as the heat protection mode. With all that said, I personally plan on switching to the V350 for my on-camera speed lights. My on-camera flash is always secondary to my off-camera usage of the Godox 8200s or the 8600 Pro. So when I do lean on that on-camera flash, it's usually at a very low power in a very dark environment and I don't need a lot from it. So I'm going to be enjoying them taking up much less space in my bag and much less weight on top of my camera all day. I hope this video on the Godox V350 helped you out. Leave a like if it did, subscribe if you want to see more, and comment below with any questions. Until next time, keep on shooting YouTube.